All right, today we're cheering for Team Great Britain, Team UK, Team England. There's a lot of names for this country, but go England, yay! <laughs> Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing my insights about all things self-publishing with you. Before I get into the details of today's video, don't forget to hit subscribe. That way you can be here every week as I bring you new information on self-publishing, being a career out of being an author, and now being a mompreneur. And most importantly, when you subscribe, you will be here for the entire self-publishing around the world series that we're doing around the Olympics. Now, I don't know about you, but since the Olympics started, I've pretty much been glued to my TV. Nothing else has happened. I'm just watching them. I'm, I feel like I'm in Tokyo. I'm just enjoying all the Olympic sports. I wonder if you are too. Let me know what your favorite Olympic sports are down in the comments. I'm really excited. Okay, well, in today's video, we're going to hear from W.A. Blinko in the UK about how to self-publish in his country. Let's check out his tips. Hello, I'm Wayne, and my author name is W.A. Blinko. You can find my books on the Amazon Bookstore as well as Google Books. I live in the UK and publish mainly on the Amazon Bookstore because I find it an easy platform to publish on. I have used Amazon as well to publish print editions as well as a company called Mixum. I haven't published any audio books yet, but I get my ISBN numbers from a company called Nielsen and they cost me £89 each or you can buy 10 for £164. I haven't registered a re copyright yet, but I am looking into it. For the barcodes, I'll use Nielsen again, and they cost a flat fee of £15 each. The limitations I found living in the UK are needing an American tax code, but this can be worked around by having an account with individual distribution platforms. As of this time, I haven't published any audiobooks. My advice to anybody in the UK that are considering self-publishing is to do a little bit of research and find the platform that best suits your needs and consider this as a long-term project. Overnight success is the exception, not the rule, and by sticking with what you want to do, you will eventually get there. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for sharing. And everybody, don't forget to check out W.A. Blinko's website as well as his book. It's gonna be linked below. Now, be sure to tune in for our next video. Bye.